Hey wonderful people of the internet, I hope you are doing well. In this video, this design is what we are going to be creating and every step is going to be explained in this particular video so you can promote your online courses or anything at all you want to promote with this kind of design, you'll be able to do it, okay? And what I need you to know is the design files has been linked down below. If you are new to this channel, look, subscribe, okay? Because this channel is all about Canva and if you're on the free version of Canva, Canva Pro has been linked down below, a free upgrade for 30 days, so make sure you are checking that out as well so yes let's dive straight into the tutorial so the first thing you're going to do is to work on the background okay so come to color and just change the color to 530054 okay so once i set it this is how it's going to look like all right then press r on your keyboard for a shape now you can just you know pull it out like this and this is how it should be looking all right then set the color to you know a charcoal black or dark gray something like not black okay something like this should be fine all right now come into elements okay and in element make sure you're searching for laptop okay yeah laptop and this one this is what we are going to use okay and we are going to increase the size then keep it something like this okay very 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 simple now i had a screenshot of canva okay the canva interface so you should also have that okay so add that into your design okay and just use it for the sake of this tutorial just use it okay or if you want you can pause the video and screenshot your canva and use it if you want it okay so yeah then make sure you are using it okay on the laptop okay just assume this is how it's going to look and don't worry because this side is not even going to be too visible so if you have to stretch it out just stretch it out stretch it out stretch it out <laughs> all right so now let's come here and let's take our image okay and we are going to hit it or paste it over here okay now i will paste it here and i will remove the background so bg remover it should process and remove it and you can see how it's looking very 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 nice this is what we have at the moment all right so we'll crop it you know just to make sure it is looking neat and let me make sure it's centered very very beautiful and also make sure that this part okay this sharp part is hitting the laptop so that it just looks as if he's coming out or i'm inside the laptop uh -huh, something like this okay so after you do that the next thing you want to do or what we are going to do is you would also see that you know what i'm going to create is something you also find when you click on the link in the description okay let me just create a couple of designs okay let me add a couple of my designs over here okay so this one like this and you can use images you can use anything at all okay so get some designs and just something like this so just four four okay so increase the size okay so like this then hit it okay just three times okay so something like this it's fine okay so what we are going to do now is i'm just going to replace these images and i'll speed up the process okay all right so select everything okay and you can decrease it a little bit okay because we want we don't want too much of it okay so what we would do is i would maybe duplicate this line and we just bring it here okay then select any of the images come to edit photo then come to blur okay and make sure you're hitting on whole image increase the intensity okay so you can see what we have it's blur right click copy style and click and drag so that you apply it on all nice one then use ctrl g to group this you know all these um designs okay yeah and increase the size okay so something like this and we send it to the back okay so it should be behind the laptop just like this now you can see the blur it's not really blaring because i don't know why it's not so let's make sure we have it fixed before we proceed to the next step okay so i would come here right click copy the style and paste it on all the images so that they all become blur good 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 so it's blur now so we can increase the size something like this then we would reduce the transparency okay so reduce the transparency to something like 
19, you know, 2019, that, you know, that's around that angle. Okay. Then the next thing we want to do is come to element and search for light. Okay. So when you search for light, you should see or use any light effect of your choice. So we are going to make this word purple. Okay. Just to match our design. So to do that, we would use the dual tone element. Okay. Or the dual tone effect. Then we'll just come here and set it to purple okay and this is the color code i'm using af oh okay so now we are using the d eight zero zero a nine okay so select it and copy the code come to shadows and paste it also over here okay and this is what we have at the moment so i will duplicate it okay yeah just to have something like this okay so you can see it's now very visible. Then we'll group it and send it to the back. Okay. So you can send it behind the laptop. Okay. And as you can see, it's showing over here and we does not what we want. Okay. So ungroup it again. Okay. Because we have to move, we have to ungroup it now and just crop everything. Okay. Just crop it like that. Uh -huh. This is better. So then come to element and search for colorful okay colorful confetti okay yeah confetti and we should get some interesting confetti okay so this is what i am looking for okay so you can also increase the size and you can crop it okay then send it behind okay if you don't know how to send it behind you can use the layers okay so layer show layers and send it behind the laptop okay then make sure it's still selected come to edit photo come to blur okay whole image and increase the blur okay so 49 or let me just make it 50 okay so make it 50 okay so it's not so visible and you can see it's still so you can see a little bit of yellowish but that's not what i want i want everything to be purple so i'll come to dual, dual tone okay custom come here and i don't know if Okay, yeah. So we'll use the same color code. So I just pasted it because I didn't, I haven't really copied anything else. So D80089. Okay. Then I come to shadow and paste the same over here. So we have something like this. Okay. So after we do that, the next thing I did earlier was I came to just screenshot the element part and um, the edit photo panel i just screenshotted it okay so you should get everything also and upload it then make sure you're fetching it i would come here and choose you know i'll just choose it and this is what i have rotate it a little bit okay then i will send it behind myself okay and the other one okay which is this one rotate that one also like this bring it here okay and I will also send it behind myself. Okay. Then I'll increase the size of my image. Okay. So yeah. So I'll increase because I want to be the, you know, main person of action in here. It's personal. What am I even saying? My God. <laughs> yeah. So I think this now, this makes sense. Okay. Increase the size to something like that. Okay. So. You can see what I'm doing. Just make sure you are doing something similar to what we have over here. Okay. So now that we've done this, the next thing we are going to do is we are going to be adding this element as well. Okay. So you can increase the side a little bit, come to the border style and add some corner rounding to it. Okay. And we would want to crop it a little bit. Uh -huh, something like this is fine. Then you can just throw it anywhere, rotate it. Yeah, something like this should be okay. Okay. So the next thing we want to do now is we would want to increase, we would want to increase the color of this. Okay. It's too dark, I feel. So let's increase it a little bit. Okay. And yeah, move it something like this. I think this is better now. Okay. Yeah. So this is fine. Okay. So now we are going to be adding a few things. Come back to element and search for light. Okay. So once you search for light, you can just come into graphics, okay, and go through to find anything light like this, okay. So something like this, and we will position this here, and I can increase the size because I want it to blend, okay. I want my image, everything here to blend. So once I have it here, I can come to edit photo, draw tone, and we are basically going to, you know, 
applying the same color to it okay so something like this is fine okay then we want to add something you know interesting to blend the background okay because because we can see the sharp is too sharp okay the transition is too sharp so let me delete this page okay nice one so we'll add a new shape okay then we'll just paste it here and place it here then drag it all the way like this okay then come to the color and just click on it again come to gradient the second color make sure the transparency is zero okay then choose the linear gradient all right once you choose the linear gradient right click on it come to layer and come to show layers okay so send it behind the laptop okay so just do this nice one okay then duplicate it okay okay then duplicate it okay and come to position okay then set it to 180 okay so 180 degrees okay so you can see what we have do the same right click layer show layers and just drag it all the way to the back okay so you can see it's blending beautifully now now the other thing we want to do is to add you know some light more light okay so let's search for another light okay come to photos and you can no gradient sorry i would go into graphics but you can just decide to use any light of your choice okay so for this one i'll use this and i'll drop it over here just to give it some elegant look you know some something like that okay yeah and we can see that the confetti is not really showing so let me duplicate the confetti okay yeah and send it back again uh-huh because i want things to be a, a little bit dramatic okay so the next thing we can do now is to add our text okay so i'll press t on my keyboard okay and i can add my text over here so i think i'm i made a mistake somewhere okay so you remember we added two gradient lines you know just to blend the background so the one that was dropping below okay bring it in front of the laptop okay so something like this instead okay instead of having that one behind the laptop rather bring it be in front of the laptop okay yeah and with this light element bring it also in front of that bring it in front of that shape okay then we can add our text okay so increase the text and you can say anything but i would say the ultimate okay ultimate then i would align it to the left okay so once aligned to the left you can bring it here and increase the size all right so i can just drag it down a little bit that is the gradient okay yeah so i position this here set the color to white okay and just in case you're wondering why i'm saying the ultimate canva course is because my canva course is coming up okay so if you want to pre-register you can also do that and the links and everything would be provided so okay so you can also say anything you want to say so the ultimate canva course very very easy and i will duplicate this and just position this here like this nice one and you can see everything is looking beautiful the next thing we want to do is press out on the keyboard for a shape this shape or a square shape okay then you can stretch it out okay come to border style and increase the rounding okay then add the border you can add a border line come to the border width and set it to two okay then come to the border color and make sure you're using the same bright pink or purple we've been using all right then with the main or the fill color set it to none okay so this is what we have at the moment then duplicate it okay and rather set the fill color to the same pink color and the border you know we are just going to remove the border line okay so something like this then place it on top and you know just drag it. something like this is what we want so select the two of them okay and reduce the size so something like this then i'll drop it down a little bit so duplicate this and what we are going to say over here is so this is what we are saying learn all you need to know about canva to make great designs okay so that's all we have to say for now then we'll just drop it down here a little bit okay the next thing is inside this one we just want to say something small so i will duplicate it okay and what i will say is join the waiting list okay so join the waiting list so the waiting 
list okay so you can see how this is looking we can select the two of them and reduce the size okay and i'll also move this here a little bit okay so something like this then i would drag and bring this here and also pull this here okay then i will just pull this here so that we are highlighting on the waiting list so you can see this is what we have been able to do and there's one last thing i want us to do okay so yes i think we fixed it so duplicate this canva course move it to the top and you can simply say coming soon okay so coming soon you can say coming soon and we'll just reduce this line spacing then select all and increase the size okay yeah and move it you know over here and behind my big head okay look at it saying coming okay so let me reduce the size so that at least the focus it wouldn't be coming so and it's like we don't know what it is so coming soon just like this and this is what we have been able to create inside of canva i hope you enjoyed this i hope you found it very easy to follow and yes the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity you can sign up or join the waiting list to my canva course coming soon announcement to be made so make sure you are keeping your eyes and your ears close to this channel i will see you in my next video